Now as you can see I've finished the fancy stitching and uh, it's all ready to be finished off. I've just done one thing since it finished um, stitching the fancies. I've cut a slit in the um, stabiliser across the top of the design, the full width. You'll see what that's for in a minute. Just above the stitching. I've done it with my rotary cutter. I put it on a cutting mat and just whisk across the top. You can do it with scissors if you like. It doesn't have to be fancy. Now I'm covering the whole design with a piece of lining. Now I'm feeling around the edges just to make sure my lining is covering the wadding all the way around. And it is. The next colour we'll just stitch it together across the top. Now for the exciting bit. Take the lining, lift the lining up, flip it over. Incidentally that lining was face down. Flip it over and use a ruler not your fingers, because if you use your fingers, you tear it. Your fingers are too big and fat. Pull that through. Well, mine are too big and fat anyway. Pull that through like that. Turn the hoop over. And pull that down neatly to cover the design area. Now, I think I've got a couple of pieces of sticky tape here ready to hold that down. Put a little bit of tension on it, because... Um, it doesn't want to spring back up. It's quite important that it doesn't spring back up. There we are. There's our lining held in place. Carefully put that back in the machine. And uh, there we are. The next piece of fabric is the back of the stocking. So I'm using my slightly heavier weight fabric for that. Um, putting that on. Now, if you want to use quilting cotton or something quite thin, another layer of wadding on the top of this might be a good idea. That's face down, so you'll be able to see that on the back of the stocking. So now we're going to stitch around the stocking shape again. To put the back on the stocking. There we go, all the way around. the top and now the last thing to do is to add another piece of lining to the back this will be face down I've got my lining sort of shiny I'm, I'm recycling a Christmas tablecloth actually it's a sort of damask um, fabric now that could do with a few pieces of tape if you want to know how I know that you could look at the one in my bin because uh, I've already done this and ended up with a disaster so it does need sticking down. Who steals the end of the tape? I'd love to know. Just cut a couple of pieces off. Stick them to the edge of my trusty table and we'll have a piece there. And a piece there. Now just a thought, if you want to put a loop of ribbon in, you could put one in there, just poke it underneath there so that it's uh, held down. Um, I don't want to on this one because I haven't got a ribbon that looks very, very nice. So I would just put that in and just poke it down. Um, under there so that it's held in place so that the edges stitch up there. I'm not sure that you can see that very well but uh, or you can put one in the side um, fairly conventionally. But one more piece of sticky tape I'm going to put on there and I'm going to put this very carefully back into the machine and fix it back 
back on. Now this time it will stitch the whole outline including across the top and it will leave a little gap in the bottom. That's quite important for turning it the right way around. top edge is just slightly curved so it shouldn't catch any of the underneath. If you pulled it down tightly enough you'll be fine. That's why you have to trim the edge of the um, fleece off at the beginning. So here we have it. There's the, the stocking um, shape all ready to be popped out of the hoop tear away the stabiliser, tear the stabiliser away first because then it's, you haven't got bits to pick out of the seam cut it out and then turn it through that gap I'll be back and show you that in a minute 